I want to tell you something. When you travel the world and you go into some of these areas, it's a very humbling thing to run into the church. Men and women that are not distracted by the cares of this world, that are not boasting in their abundance and have need of nothing and don't know that we're poor and naked and wretched. Covetous, faithless, I believe God wants to stir us. Lord, why could we not cast him out? Does that bother you this morning? Why are we not seeing miracles? Why are we not casting out devils? Why are we not free from the lusts and the sins and the cares? that do so easily beset. When he comes, will he find faith? I believe God's going to stir us up. But I think we're going to have to get serious. Three full weeks, I mourned. Are you mourning over your condition at all? Are you satisfied? You know, that's something that we... Are you satisfied? If you are, you're in trouble. Because as I look across this fellowship, starting here at the pulpit, I don't see a Paul, or a Peter, or a James, or a John. I don't see this great cloud of witnesses. Now, maybe we're here, but we'll never know until the test comes. But what are we doing to prepare ourselves? In your last conflict, can I ask you? You remember the skit and how tired they got of hearing about the footman? You get tired of hearing about the footman? Pastor, I get so tired of hearing about the footman. The chariots are coming. 